Hey guys, welcome back to Cypress Steel Forge, and boy, do we have something great for y'all today. I have with me Chammers. This is going to be great. The big surprise day. It's the 16th, and guess what? It was a Warhammer. That's right. That's what we're doing today. We have with us a fellow YouTuber. We're going to do a collaboration. He does armor and stuff, so we're going to talk about some medieval armor and how the, the Warhammer would... Uh, React with it, and then we're going to yep. forge it out, and then we're going to get to test it. So, if you want to introduce yourself, hello, I'm uh, Chammers Deluxe. Um, I am just a small content creator, mainly focusing on you know medieval cosplay and costuming, prop making, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, if you, if you want to check me out, I am Chammers Deluxe on pretty much all the socials. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to uh, be making this. This, this is going to be awesome. awesome. It's going to be epic. All right, all right. So the first thing we're going to do with this is just work the shaft. All we're doing is taking some half inch rebar here, and we're just going to tap down the ridges for the aesthetics of it. So we just take the two pounder. see it in the uh, the rest of it but we've already threaded it made a uh, little butt cap for it nice little skull cracker hand guards got the handle it's a nice little crepe myrtle burned it a little bit to make it look nice and once again you can just see where it's shouldered and it thins down yeah 
so everything fits up. All right. So now we're ready to get started on the head of it. And uh, what we're using for the head is a railroad spike. And what we're gonna do is take this here tool called a drift. Okay. When you're a blacksmith, you need a tool, you make a tool. <laughs> so all this does is it just drives a hole okay. right, right through it. That way you ain't got to sit there and drill a piece yeah. of metal out forever. And you don't lose any of the metal because it's gonna shove it to the side. Yes. And this one here with the, this punch, oh sorry, this with the punch, this one is the drift. Okay. And what this is, this is going to start the hole, and this one's already the right size for our shaft. So once this goes through, it's ready to go. Okay, awesome. So we're just going to set it in the anvil, and uh, we'll go get the feet to get started. All right.
and what you can see here is that clear line of demarcation. That is hardened, that is not. Gotcha. So, I'm hearing that glassy sound. I'm always been curious about like how like what the difference actually like feels like. Oh yeah, yeah, go for it. So you oh, yeah, that, that just slides off in that kind of guy too a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wow, yeah, that's that's it's, it's that's a marked really, difference. Yeah, it, it, you can hear the same even over yeah, huge difference. If you want to get a little closer to the microphone, I can pull the okay. audio. Careful, this still warm. Yeah, it's duller up here and it's sharper down here. Mm -hmm. Like that, that's it's, that's it's really hugely cool. different. It is, it's very easy to tell early on. You yeah. be a novice and be like, oh wow, that that is good. That is not good. That's that is awesome. That's so, so cool. and tight on there so now all we're going to do is we're going to take it to the grinders and uh trim down any any excess any sharp spots okay. and whatnot and then we're going to grind that spike down to a nice little point awesome and uh once that's done she's ready to go try it we'll, we'll put up the handle like i said we already got it nice and threaded so uh we just took a tap and die and, and threaded that in the butt cap so we'll set all that together epoxy it let that sit for a couple of minutes and then it's going to be time to have some fun with this today. Hell yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. So let's take it over here and get it fired up. <laughs> Let's go put a handle on it and have some fun. All right, let's go. 